Hello, welcome to Stamp Designs with Denise. I'm Denise Johnson, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, coming to you live from Bedford, New Hampshire. Um, happy Columbus Day, Indigenous Peoples Day, whatever you're celebrating today. Um, my husband and children are actually working. Well, I don't think my daughter is. She's a teacher, and I think they have today off. But um, it seems to be split between people that are at work today and people that are um, enjoying the day. It's not such a nice day here um, in New Hampshire where I am today. We have um, remnants of that Hurricane Delta will be coming in later today, so it's sort of overcast and dreary. Um, I see my friend Vicki just signed on. Hi Vicki, welcome. Glad you're watching with us. Um, so if you are watching this video or watching the replay of this video, if you'd like to comment or share or um, ask any questions you have, um, I would love to have you engaged in this video and um, I always do a raffle for anybody that comments or shares this video and um, I missed it last week because I was away but uh, a couple weeks ago my friend Janet commented and she was the winner of the raffle so she'll be getting something a small gift in the mail from me this week um, today I'm going to be using the tag buffet stamp set to make some cards but I'm going to show you the project kit um, and what I did with that and then we'll make have some fun making some cards with the stamp set so that I can show you some other uses for that. Um, as I said my husband and I were away last week um, we went down to Pinehurst North Carolina we're both golfers so we went down to do a little bit of golfing because it was his birthday and that was what he wanted to do and we needed to get away haven't been away um, since February and change of scenery was very nice. The weather there was actually gorgeous. We got 80s pretty much every day, sunny. So um, so we had a good time, nice to get away, change of scenery. Of course, uh, we tried to be super, super careful, wore our masks everywhere that we went and um, they everyone that we sort of encountered was doing the same, which was good and encouraging to see that a lot of other places are also being safe and uh, following the guidelines and stuff. So, so it was a good week. So um, I see Jennifer is also joining us. I think she uh, is home from work today. Welcome, Jennifer. So I am going to get my camera turned around and we'll get started and we will make some cards. And let me turn on another light just I think that makes it a little brighter and then um, we'll get some housekeeping out of the way Stampin Up is doing a designer series paper sale right now for the month of October um, they have uh, about 15 different packages of paper that are on sale at 15% off so I will put this link in my blog and you can look and see um, they have some of the holiday ones the Halloween one is also on sale, and then there's just some um, general patterns, Whale of a Time, some other um, designs that are, this playing with patterns is also a really great one. Um, and pets, if you have pets, they have the playful pets is also. So these are some great deals, 15% off on the designer series paper. So I will put a link, you can go to the Stampin' Up! website and check those out and get some more um, detailed pictures if you're interested in that. And then, uh, let's see. So today we're gonna be using the Tag Buffet Project Kit. And it comes, if you, if you get the project kit, it comes in this cute little box. And inside are all the elements to make um, gift tags. So they are actually a pretty good size. They're about three and a half by four and a quarter, I think. Um, so it tells you right in here what else you need to make these. So you would need to get the stamp set, which has the sentiments on it, and then some coordinating ink, which would be the garden green, the real red, and the shaded spruce, and then stamp and dimensionals. And then like the twine is included in here and everything is already um, perforated and ready to punch out or already cut out for you. And so it makes these 
I think, five each of these six different tags. So they're really cute. They are a really good size. And then it comes with a to and from stamp also in that stamp set. So you can put that on the back. So I'll move this out of the way here. So you can see these. So these are some really cute elements and stuff on that. It has some of the gold foil so it sparkles, which you all know I love the sparkle. So, um, so those are really great. So you end up with 30 gift tags if you get that box in the coordinating stamp set. And then if you don't need that many, or if you wanted to make them into cards, I, I made the tags exactly the way it said in the instructions. I tied the twine into a bow and, um, and then I just attached them to a card base. So these two I used garden green and then the other four I used real red for my card base. And then I did cut out a piece of whisper white to put on the so inside so that I could put my sentiment in there on all of them. So, so that's how, if you wanted to get it, it's super easy cards to make. The tags are really easy to put together and then you just attach them to your card base and you've got some really cute cards all ready to go. But so this comes with this, or you buy this separately. If you wanna get just the, the Tag Buffet stamp set, I'm gonna use, um, make cards today that just use this stamp set and they don't use any of the elements from um, the project kit. So let's get started on that. My first card, we're gonna use the Seaside Spray ink and the Basic Gray ink. My card base is gonna be in that Seaside Spray color it's eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it at four and a quarter. This card sort of is some non-traditional Christmas colors, but um, I think you'll like it. I have a purple posy layer that is four by five and a quarter. And then I have two Whisper White layers. I have a Whisper, this Whisper White is four by five and a quarter. That's going to go inside for my sentiment. And then my outside layer is three and three quarters by five. So, and then we have some rhinestone jewels to add our sparkle at the end. So what I'm gonna do first is I already have my stamps mounted. I'm gonna use the sentiment, tis the season from that stamp set. And let's see, we'll put this up here. And then I want to use that ornament stamp on this one. And I'm going to do this in the basic gray. And so I'm going to put these sort of coming down on the side of my card. And then what I have is I have some Stampin' Blends in the Smoky Slate, the Seaside Spray, and the Purple Posy. And we're gonna color these in, but first I'm gonna use my basic gray marker and I'm going to draw a straight line with my ruler here so that the ornaments sort of look like they're hanging. Down. And Last one there, like that. And then I'm gonna use these Stampin' Blends. So the Stampin' Blends come in a pack. It will come with a, a dark shade and a light shade of each of the Stampin' Blends, which is nice for um, shading and whatnot. But so I'm gonna use the Smoky Slate just to color in these. Topmost ornaments have this sort of gold or silver tops on them that they hang from. So I just want to 
color that in. And then, let's see, I'm gonna use the, the dark purple posy on this line across here. So these ornaments don't really have um, much shading on them, but when you have other elements, other stamp sets that have a lot of shading, these light and dark are, um, are really good for that. And I'm gonna use my light purple posied color in the middle here. And then I am gonna come back with the dark purple posy here and just do a little bit of shading there on that side. Down here. Like that. And then we're gonna color in the top and the bottom with our seaside spray. So these Stampin' Blends are really nice, as I said, for the blending, and it does make a difference from the markers that they sell. The markers tend to show more of the lines and stuff when you use them to color with, but the blends really do work nice. So I'm just going to add a little bit of the darker here, just to add a little bit of this. color in and there we go so put these aside and put that aside and I have my rhinestones because we're gonna add some sparkle now so put that there like that And now we can just layer our card. So as I said, this Whisper White is our inside layer. And there is um, a sentiment that you could put inside. It says, may the good times of today become the cherished memories of tomorrow, wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness. So that could be your inside sentiment. I am gonna use that um, sentiment on an another card here that I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna layer this on the purple posy layer. And then this will get put on our front of our card base. And there's our first card. So obviously you could use any colors you wanted. Use this basic design, any colors that you have on hand to um, color in the ornaments and stuff. I like the this purple and, and blue shades together. Just a little bit different from your green and red Christmas card. So that's our first card. And our next card is going. We're going to use that ornament stamp again, and I have real red shaded spruce. My card base is the thick whisper white, which is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have the um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I have a real red layer that is four by five and a quarter and a whisper white layer that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth and then we're going to use our star designer elements at the end so i'm going to clean my ornament stamp off and using the black 
I'm going to stamp this right here in the middle. Again, I have some Stampin' Blend markers. I have the Shaded Spruce, the Real Red, and the sea, Soft Sea Foam is what that is. But I'm going to use my black marker first to draw my line to hang my ornament. And then this stamp set has a little bow, so I thought this would be good to sort of put that right above our ornament here. And there's also some holly leaves, so I'm going to stamp those in the shaded spruce, put those in the corner. And I'm going to use this shaded spruce, and it has a big Merry Christmas sentiment in here. And we will center that right down the bottom. And then our holly leaves need some berries, so we'll do that in the real red. And then I'm going to use my marker, my Stampin' Blends here to color these in. So I think I'm just going to do the light right here in the middle. I use the darker red to color in this line. And we'll do the top and bottom in the shaded spruce. And let me find that smoky slate again, and I will co color in my hanger there. And I'm going to color in my leaves and berries. So our coloring is done and then I have these stars that I wanted to put in the center of my ornament right like that so I thought that sort of finished that ornament off. And now we'll get these together. I'm going to layer that Whisper White layer on the real red. And then we will attach that to our card base. our second card using that stamp set.
So our next card, um, my card base is actually 11 by four and a quarter. It's scored at five and a half. So sometimes it's nice to have a different opening card rather than your traditional. This will open bottom to top. I have a piece of the Tis the Season Designer Series paper, which is one of the papers that is on um, sale this month at 15% off. So these are all the different designs. I'm using this plaid design. We have um, Cherry Cobbler ink and we have the Cherry Cobbler Stampin' Blends. And I'm also gonna use those shaded spruce ones. Now I also have a piece of scrap paper and then I have a piece of, the shaded spruce is three quarters of an inch by three and a quarter. Cherry Cobbler is three quarters of an inch by three inches. And the Whisper White is three quarters of an inch by two and three quarters. So I'm gonna use my Banners Pick-A-Punch and I'm going to um, punch the end of each of these. Usually I use the one to flag it, but this time I'm doing the, the point side for just a different look. So, I'm going to attach my designer series paper to my card base, sort of get my card built, and then we'll do the stamping. to layer these like that there. Okay, so I have my card base ready. So now we're gonna do some stamping. And I'm going to use the Memento Black to stamp the Christmas stocking. And I'm going to use the sentiment I had showed you earlier that would be great for the inside of your cards. And I want to use some of it on the outside of the card, but I don't want the whole thing. So I'm going to ink up some of it. I'm going to stamp it. Let's see if I can get it down here straight. And then what I want to do is I want to have the wishing you joy and happiness. So I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to cut these out into strips and place the sentiment that I want on my card. So, let's get this. I could just leave it like that, wishing you lots of love, joy, and happiness, but I just want the joy and happiness. So, that is, we'll go there, and then the wishing you I'm going to clean this. The, the darker red colors tend to stain the stamps, which is fine. They're just stained. They're not going to come off on another project or anything, but the sooner you clean them up, sometimes it uh, helps so they're not, they don't get as dark. And while I have this out, I'm going to get my other stamps cleaned up because I'm using some of them again.
I clean them now too. It gives me less chance to, to touch one and get ink everywhere. Um, okay, so now we have our wishing you and we have our joy and happiness. And then what I would want with the stocking is I'm going to cut this out and just go all the way around it. But so rather than have you watch me, I did cut one out earlier. So this is all set and I am going to color these in using the shaded spruce and the cherry cobbler, which matches the colors on my designer series paper. So I'll just add in some darker shaded spruce here, try and do a little bit of shading on this. And then my stocking needs to be red. So how many of you have started your holiday Christmas shopping? I have not even thought about it yet. Um, I guess with everything going on, I'm not sure what the holidays are going to look like this year. I doubt there'll be a lot of family gathering, which will be a little bit sad to not be able to do all the traditional stuff and see the family that we normally see. So then I'm just going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals. We'll pop up this stocking like this. And put this here. And then I wonder if I could use mini dimensionals on these. And then they could still be popped up. Oops. And I had a piece of the gold twine that I wanted to put on my stocking, and I don't see where it fell to. It's probably on my floor someplace, so I'll cut a new piece of twine. So, joy and happiness. I'm wishing you. There we go. So that's my how I made my own sentiment out of the stamp set. And so, let's see. I have this gold twine from the kit. And I'm going to cut maybe about six inches of that. And we'll tie it in a bow. Turn my edge off a little bit. And then let's get a glue dot out and we're going to attach this to our stocking. I'm going to kind of roll up my glue dot, make it a little bit smaller, and then attach our bow for some sparkle. And then we'll add some more. We'll add some of these gilded gems. On the card front which just brings in a little bit more sparkle there we go and there's our card using the stocking from that stamp set and then Looks like we're doing pretty good on time. I don't like my videos to last more than an hour, but I do have one more card that I would like to share with you. And 
This one will use some elegant faceted gems. And I have, let's see, Rich Razzleberry, which is one and three quarters by five and a half. I have a piece of the Plaid Tidings Designer Series paper, which is also one of the sets that is on special this month at 15% off. And I have cut this at one and five eighths by five and a half, which will be layered on that. I use the stitched shape dies and I cut out a square. And then I have a piece of um, Whisper White scrap paper. And my card base is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're gonna get this. Over. I'm going to attach these two layers. And this is going to go on here like that. And then, let's see, what else do we have here? I have the Rich Razzleberry Stampin' Blends. I have the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and I have Rich Razzleberry Ink. And I have a pencil because I'm going to do some stamping around this square, and I just kind of want to lightly mark off where my square is so I know where to do my background stamping. So... I am going to use this leaf stamp and in the Rich Razzleberry ink, sort of off from where the corners were in here, I'm just gonna come out and stamp some of these leaves like this. And so then this will be attached like that and I might have to lightly erase my pencil marks so they don't show. I'll let that dry a little bit. It looks like it's smudging. Usually it doesn't. Usually it dries pretty fast. Okay. And then put that away. Let's see. I'm going to use the With Love For You sentiment. Also in the Rich Razzleberry ink. Right down here. And stamp my stocking on the Whisper White. And then I would fussy cut that out, um, which I have already done. And then I'm going to color it in with my Rich Razzleberry Stampin' Blends. And then we'll just add a little bit of shading around here. Using the Stampin' Dimensionals, I'm going to put that on my square that I die cut. And then I'm going to attach this to my card base. Right like that. And I had some elegant faceted gems that I was going to use to add some sparkle to this card. 
So they sort of have, I think one is sort of frosted, the other one is clear, and then these are a probably like a petal pink color, but I'm going to try and use the frosted ones. Yeah, I think those look pretty good. There we go. And that was the last card I had to make with you. I did make, I, once I started with this set though, I kept making cards. So I did have a couple others I wanted to show you that I had made. So this uses the Poinsettia Place Designer Series paper, which is one of the ones that is on um, sale this week. And so I used two different um, sides of the Designer Series paper and then cut out the ornament by hand, use that stitch shapes again to make the circle and um, use some of the greenery from the stamp set around my ornament. And then those are the champagne rhinestones. And let's see, our next card, this uses the um, plaid tidings, which I had showed you earlier, which was also this black and white plaid came from that. And there's that whole entire sentiment I just put on the front of the card. And then I used the red rhinestones in place of doing the stamp set on this. Um, so this is cherry cobbler and shaded spruce are the colors. And then the last card I made uses the Snowflake Splendor. This is also one of the ones that are 15% off this month. Um, all different kinds of the the blues, teals, purples in it. It's very pretty paper. And then all I did was I used the Merry Christmas sentiment and I hand cut that out and layered it with the designer series paper and the crinkle um, whisper white ribbon. And then if you can see, there's some um, little adhesive back snowflakes that um, add the sparkle to the front of this card. So, Let's see if I can get all my cards out here. Um, thank you for watching. All of the measurements and everything, all the supplies I use for these cards are in my blog. Um, if you don't want to miss any of these videos, um, you could subscribe to my blog because after I do a video, I always do a blog that tells you everything that was used and links to the store and the products so you can get more information on that. Um, and that is stampdesignswithdenise.net is how you find my blog. So thank you for watching, thank you for your comments. Um, if you're placing an order that's under $150, I have an October host code, you'll receive a free gift from me um, if you use this code. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and remember to leave a little sparkle wherever you go.